This particular system is capable of capturing up to 3,000 license plates in an hour. We have two forward-facing cameras and one side-facing camera. The side-facing camera is uh, out at a 90-degree angle, and it's basically for doing parking lot applications. I can go into a uh, parking lot of a shopping center and uh, drive down the, the lanes of the parking lot, and as I'm doing that, I'm running every single license plate in that parking lot. The forward-facing cameras, um, one is forward-facing to the lane to the left, and one is forward-facing to the lane to the right. And what I'm getting there is uh, typically oncoming cars, and the camera to the right uh, would be either cars in the number two lane or cars that are parked along the side of the road. So what the screen gives you here is it gives you an overview picture of the vehicle. The software then isolates the license plate and it gives you the plate patch. And what you see here in the yellow box above the plate patch is what the software actually read the plate to be. At the beginning of the shift, before we go out, before we deploy the system, we get a daily download from CPIC and from Motor Vehicle Branch Records, the ICBC database. That, uh, those downloads basically consist of uh, all of the stolen vehicle license plates in British Columbia, uh, all of the vehicle license plates associated to uninsured vehicles, uh, license plates associated to unlicensed drivers, and license plates associated to uninsured vehicles. But any time a vehicle with a BC license plate comes into the field of view of any of the cameras, what will happen is the camera will take a picture of the vehicle. The software itself will isolate the license plate that, from that vehicle and it will send it into an onboard computer. And that onboard computer has the, the hot lists uh, uploaded into it. Uh, if there is a match, from the photograph against any of the vehicles that are in the hot list, then we get an audible alarm here on the uh, computer screen. So one of the other applications for this system is to frequently check parking lots for vehicles that uh, are of interest to the police. Oh. And we have a hit on this vehicle. What does it say here? Stolen from Vancouver, suspect in an armed robbery. Well, it looks like we've got our first hit of the day. So we've checked the hit on this uh, Chevy Lumina, uh, the stolen vehicle out of Vancouver. Uh, it is confirmed stolen at this time. It was used yesterday in an armed robbery. So what we're going to do now is we're going to maintain observation of the vehicle. We'll call in the surveillance team and they can have a look at it. Uh, we also have ALPR systems installed into marked cars, and those marked cars will focus primarily on uh, in traffic enforcement uh, responsibilities, going after uninsured vehicles and prohibited drivers and unlicensed drivers. But uh, auto theft and traffic enforcement only scratch the surface of what ALPR is capable of doing. We also uh, have uh, future considerations in regards to uh, national security sites, uh, the ports, the airports, uh, the uh, Olympic Games that are coming up we've got uh, counter-terrorism and organized crime ALPR is going to revolutionize the way we police in North America